What's up, YouTube? Hey, guys, I am, uh, man, I'm back to my old stomping ground. Um, I left this morning, was going to Lake Merval, and, uh, well, the lake was closed. We've had seven inches of rain here in the last uh, two days, so they closed the boat ramp. Um, so I went and chose another little lake nearby there that I've never been on, and it was it was horrible. Um, dirty, and uh, caught a little bass. That was about it. So I figured, you know what? It's 1 o'clock. I'm going to Lake Palestine. So I uh, wasn't even sure if I can get under the bridge. I was able to, thank goodness. And uh, I have no idea if we're going to be able to catch anything, guys. This water, this lake. So uh, I'll try to show you all some pictures, but the, the lake is over the docks right now. Um, all these all these docks out here, they're just right at water level or, or underneath uh, the water. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not, a, it doesn't get this way often. But, so we're looking probably four to five foot, uh, I'm going to say four foot above pool right now. They say, well, it may be more than that. They say there's two feet of water going over the spillway right now. Um, and there's more coming in. So we're fishing chocolate milk. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start out here at 25 foot. And well, actually maybe 30 foot now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But try to catch some crappie, some big crappie on the standy timber that's out here in the middle of the lake. So it's an afternoon. I don't normally do that. It's four o'clock and uh, 345, almost four. So we'll see what happens, guys. Let's give it a shot. Guys, as I do in every show, we gotta start off with a prayer. So uh, y'all bow with me. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, your mercy, Lord God. I'm gonna pray right now for, um, pray for Jerry's family right now, Lord God, as, as uh, they're uh, dealing with his loss. Um, pray for anybody watching right now, Lord God, that you'll give them strength, you'll give them healing, you'll give them uh, the power to give whatever they're dealing with to you, Lord God. Um, I thank you. I pray that you'll bless every one of them, Lord God. I thank you for allowing me to have this platform. Help us to stay safe today with all these boaters out here. We love you. It's the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Got him. Oh, lost him. Sure, that hook wasn't bent. Come on, hook. No, hook's fine. All right, let's go back down there. Golly, that was a good fish, too. There we go. He's right there. Okay, go down. Catch one of these smaller ones. All right, there he is. 20 foot out. There's a couple of them right there. See if I can catch one. No. He does not want it. All right, guys, that's a good that's a good point right there. I want to show you that. Let's talk to live scope for a minute. <clears throat> Everyone believes what live scope is cheating. It's a video game. Well, you know what? It is kind of a video game. Um, but as you can see right there, I can see where the fish are, but I cannot make it bite. Just because you have live scope does not mean you can make it bite. And uh, it, you know, it's it's. Uh, I watched a video last night by a bass fisherman, and it was it was a joke video, but. Uh, basically, what happened was uh, there was a guy at the bank or the dock, and he brought his his big boat out with his wife and, and said, I can't remember who he was. And the guy's like, yeah, man, you got a lot of scope. You can catch anything. And so he's he, he bets the guy. He said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my boat. 
I'll go home, get my John boat, and we'll have a, a, turn, a fishing tournament. And uh, so as, as he's walking him through the boat, he said, okay, open this live well, just leave it open. Those fish will jump right in there. That's what people think, that people, uh, that fish are just going to jump right in your live well. But I'll tell you what, it's not. They don't. As you can tell today, I've been out here for uh, exactly one hour. I've caught four fish, and two of them weren't worth catching. Dang little catfish or sand bass, little catfish. See, that's the problem, guys, with this muddy water is you're going to have a lot of catfish floating around here. So, see that? Come on. God, I hate touching these things. All right, let's go find a different tree. So well, today I'm gonna to be using a chartreuse juice by Thump Gel. I'm using that on a bonehead uh, Palestine special. And just see what it does. See if I can find a dang fish besides a catfish. Got him, finally. All right. That's a crappie, I know. Oh, that's a good crappie, too. Yeah. You got the fun guy on him. Look at that. Woo. <laughs> nice crappie. I'm going to let him go look at that fungus. A lot of times, guys, that's from uh, losing a slime coat, which happens when you drop them on your boat and let them go. So if you are gonna let them go, try to keep them off the, the carpet. It really helps them out. All right, finally. Only took 36 minutes. It's so dirty in this water. Got him. Not very big, I don't think. Well, no, it's a pretty good sized crappie. Real good sized crappie. All right. Stump bug. Palestine special. A bonehead. I got him right in the snoogan. Those decent sized fish. You see they're fat. That's not that's a spawned out crappie already. Beautiful. That's a good one. That's a bass, I think. No, it's a good crappie. Trying to run away. Little run All right, here we go. That's well, not the biggest crappie I thought. It's a good one. Look, it still has a little black on him. Right at the top of the tree. That's not the one I was going for. The one I was going for is still there. That's the other one that came out to see it. There's a couple right there. Man, I love this sniper and rain pole. Guys, I've really gotten used to this thing. Uh, I'll tell you real quick, 
before I get on these fish, but it is just amazing how I can, I know it's hard to see with this thing, but all I gotta do is turn this handle and my live scope moves different directions. So I don't have to do this necessarily. I can just kind of, as I'm, as I'm trolling in a lake, all I gotta do is swerve it. Just turn my handle. It is amazing. We got this one, then we got the one on the, on the uh, John's portable unit, or the portable unit that John uses and makes it really easy. It sets up right there, allows the fish two fish at once, or two poles at once. All right, let's try to get on something here. Pray this is all gonna be catfish. Get the boat turned around here. Something right. Find out. Man, that's a good crappie right there. <laughs> if y'all saw that, just popped him right at the top of the tree. Big old black. Boing. He inhaled that thing. Wow. I need a whole bunch of these. Man, this is not bad. First, literally the first cast out here. It's a big old heavy sucker, man. I'm gonna weigh him just for the fun of it. I know he's not gonna be huge, but I'm curious. I mean, that's, man, I don't know. Weigh him on the Bubba scale. Let's see, let me clear. All right. Dude, one. 1.8 that's almost a two pound black <laughs> goodness look at that thing every bit he is let's see how long he is about 12 and a half man nice big old fish we'll drop him back in there that was fun Look at this, this black crappie right, right up here. That's another big one. Man, got these spider webs are getting in me. There's more down there. Whew, look at that. Let's pull another one in, guys. Here's, here's what we're doing. Again, we're just driving around looking for trees. Once we find the tree, we're looking for fish on them. This one has fish all smack over it. Got him, look at that. Oh, baby, get out of the tree. Got him, got him out of the tree. A, whew, that's a good fish. Notice they had to put a little thump gel on there. He hit it that time. Oh, that's a really good crappie. Oh, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, look at that. Heck yeah, that's a good fish, guys. We put him back and we'll go ahead and close this show real quick. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and close that show. That was a beautiful fish just there. Um, it's starting to get late. I don't, I don't usually fish in the evenings, um, but it's six o'clock right now. I've got to go to my brother-in-law's spot right there, uh, see the family that's there, and probably do that for 20 minutes and run back to the other side of the lake before it gets dark because there's a lot of floating trees out here right now. Uh, everything has just come up from the north, been up uprooted. There was a, about a 30-foot tree sitting right over there a while ago. Um, anyway, great time, guys. So what we're doing today, again, we're fishing deep fish or deep water fish. Um, it's, it, man, it's, it's April 12th. I mean, it's still out there, uh, still early. There's fish in, in spawn still. Uh, caught a couple earlier that on the other place that still had some eggs. Um, but they're coming back out to deep water. That's what I like doing. I like to long line, vertical jig. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're just trolling around today, looking for fish, looking for fish on the trees. Let me rephrase that. So that's what I like to do, guys. Vertical jigging, we're just driving driving around, looking for a, a, a log that has a fish stuck to the side of it, a big old blob. And that's, uh, that's kind of how we're targeting him. So um, again, uh, live scope is a little foggy today just because there's so much junk 
in the water. But it's been a good time. So I'm going to try to come back out tomorrow. I'll probably come right here and just start here because there was some big old black crappie. I mean, I've only been here for 15 minutes and caught three right there, big ones, almost uh, one of them, almost two pounds. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, guys. Thanks so much. Tune in next week. Uh, by the time you see the next week's show, we will be in Tennessee. It's going to be a good time. Gunnersville, ACC, Crappie Sticks, uh, yeah, let's see, ACC, Crappie Stick, Crappie Cove, Big Bash. Yeah, something like that. Um, anyway, Watts Bar, 27th of uh, April. It's going to be a good time. There should be, and we're hoping for about 100 boats this time. Uh, $1,500 an hour, eight hours for the big fish. And then whoever gets the biggest fish at the tournament gets an extra $5,000. You cannot beat that. If you're in the area, guys, check it out. Um, I think it's a $120 entry fee. But anyway, I'm going to be there. Matt Wired for Crop, he's going to be there. Uh, who else will be there? Uh, Davis Flop and Crop, he will be there for sure. Uh, those are three that I'm, I can think of right off the bat. Monty with Thump Gel is going to be there. Anyway, it's a good time. I can't wait to get there. Then we're going to go hit Real Foot Lake. So anyway, y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a fun next month. <laughs> y'all have a good day.